Hi there, this is Scott Nicholson and this is my MIT sabbatical blog for December 16th, 2010. This will be my last blog for the year because I'm going to head home soon back to Syracuse. I'll be there for the rest of the year and then we'll be back here in January so you can look forward to more videos from me at that point. So this week I've been working on a couple projects. The biggest one is I'm writing a grant proposal. Um, one of the things that's gone on here at MIT in the Education Arcade, uh, which is one of the research labs that I'm starting to work with, is they did a game called Vanished. And Vanished was a game that was set within, uh, we partnered with the Smithsonian Institution. It was an online alternate reality game that allowed uh, kids from around the world to come together and to hunt down a mystery and to solve a mystery. And they did it in context with uh, scientists, with museums. Um, it was an eight week game that went on. And so what I'm going to be doing is actually working with those folks and developing a library alternate reality game toolkit. Now the games that we're going to be creating out of the toolkit will not be as elaborate as Vanished was. The idea is to create a toolkit to enable libraries to easily craft a orientation game, an orientation game for the library that could be used to introduce a group of people to a selected group of resources, places, things in the library. And so a lot of libraries have been doing this and in fact one of the reasons I'm talking about it, if you have been part of one of these at a library, either through creating one or uh, I've been involved in one, please contact me. I'd like to include some information about some of these ARGs that have already run in libraries in the grant proposal that I'm writing. That would help. But the idea is to create this toolkit so that libraries from around the world could come and use the toolkit, fill out information about their library, and produce an alternate reality game structure that then they can use. And so that's been my big project this week is working on that grant proposal. The other thing I've been thinking more and more about is gamification. I talked about that a little bit a couple weeks ago. It's this idea of taking uh, game mechanisms, you know, game design concepts, and applying them to non-game things. A simple example of it would be the frequent flyer programs that airlines use. So the frequent flyer programs add points, add or they call them miles, they add levels of status, and all of this is used to try and get you to engage more with the airlines. Um, we're seeing a lot of abuse of this concept of gamification and I really don't like where it's gone and I don't like how the term is being used to apply very, very thin layers of what really is the a boring part of games, the scoring system. It's like, let's take a scoring system from a game and put it on something in the real world. And instead, I'm thinking more and more about how do you make gamification more meaningful to the users that are involved. I'm looking at what I've learned about universal design for learning, what I've learned about information science and user-based relevance, and so I'm actually starting a book. So once the grant proposal is done, I'm going to get working hard on this book on uh, user-centered gamification. And so that's the big thing I'm going to be thinking about, I think, quite a bit in the spring. It's been interesting because over this semester, when I came here, I had some ideas of what I wanted to work on. But as I got here, I said, you know, it would be really silly for me to just continue to push and say, I'm going to work on these things that I came here knowing how to do, because I can do that back home. And instead, what I've been doing is engaging with people, talking and meeting with people, and letting the ideas kind of bubble in my head. And that's where these concepts have come out of. And so I'm enjoying that ride. It's really helping me to take advantage of the situation I have here rather than just come in and say I'm going to work on this thing that that I could I could I, I know how to do and so that's been exciting to see those changes um, also this week culturally I'm taking in lots of Christmas concerts since this is my last week here in Boston I went to the Boston Pops this week with special guests Rockapella and Jim Belushi that was really exciting that was a very nice concert and I'm heading tomorrow to the Harvard Revels uh, which is an old uh, English style or European style Christmas concert so I'm looking forward to that as well so anyway happy holidays to you I will see you all in January, and uh, we'll heading back to Syracuse. Hopefully, you guys can keep the snow away while I'm there, so then I can flee the snow and come back here to Boston. Uh, we'll see how that works out. So anyway, take care, and I will talk with you all in a few weeks when I'm back here. Bye-bye.